back on the streets where the unexpected can always be expected. It is the streets after all. There are no walls here. And uh, you're going to get see and get some things that you just don't see or get at any other uh, any other YouTube street talk show program. This is no exception. This guy's a um, gay Austin resident who works for Apple, who voted for Trump. Yes, sir, Rebub. Don't get any weirder than this, does it? So we're everywhere. We're everywhere. They can't stop us. We're everywhere. We're even an apple. So um, hope you enjoy this one. You know what you do if you like it. You hit the like button. If you care, you share. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe again. And if you already subscribe, uh, subscribe again. And uh, and of course, you know what you do if you want to keep me out there on the streets. You you go uh, go to my shop and get uh, get one of my designs. You know that's what draws the people over there to talk to me is uh, my artwork and. Uh, they seem to get a kick out of it to so go out there and wear it and, you know, see if you can trigger some liberals because, you know, you got the trigger back guarantee. If you don't trigger a liberal, you will get your money back. And if you just feel like throwing money at me for no other reason, they just go to my PayPal account, a badass Uncle Sam76 at gmail.com and drop some money in the till because, you know, the more you put in, the better I feel. And then, you know, the more I can do, and the more I can do, the more I can trigger, and it gets better and better. So, it's a spiritual battle fought on a material plane, so please give me the material I need to stay on the streets. God bless you, and here we go. I don't think they would be yelling at you. Well, if they do, that's all they do. It's what I call it like hit-and-run insults. You know, they come by and say something. I say, well, why come in? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk. You know, and they run away. It's like, you know, they're, they're idiots. They're idiots. And I prove it every day out here. Thanks. Thank you. Where are you from? Austin. Well, it's a liberal cesspool there, too. At least you got at least you got Alex Jones based there. I ordered a hat from Morgan, and it never came out. <laughs> Are you out here uh, every weekend? Uh, yeah, I try to be. Yeah. Depending on the weather, of course. Do you pass out Trump stickers? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I get the hat. I mean, I get, you know, the Infowar stickers. I get, yeah. yeah. I mean, wear anything I can to get and trigger yeah. them. Yeah. He's, he's a little... He seems a little extreme for me. Trump does? Uh, Alex Jones. Oh, Alex Jones? Yeah. Well, I considering that, you know, the other side is way extreme, anything in the middle would be extreme. So. But I, I love his videos when the reporters go out in Austin and have Oh, yeah, indeed. Those are great. Yeah, well, indeed. Yeah, well, if, if you go to the back of my get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton, you'll see the, the same responses I get out here on my YouTube channel. Okay. Hello there, beautiful ladies. Hey, hey. You're in the hood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do in Austin? Keep throwing me under the bus on these questions. I work for Apple. <laughs> uh, in what capacity? Um, I work in Apple Care, which uh, I don't. That's like their, it's like their technical support okay. group. So, yeah, they. It's definitely a very liberal company. Well, the <laughs> thing I got against the whole tech, big tech thing now is their censorship. I mean, they are definitely shadow banning and you know, and I mean, it, I mean. It's, Talk about oh, it will be free, free. Yeah, but you don't believe in free speech. I mean, I mean, you know, and if you don't believe in free speech, you're a tyrant. Yeah. So you know, 
if you, as I say, I prove out here every day that they don't want to talk. So it's like, uh, if you don't want to talk, then, you know, what's your point? They also, they don't really follow anything. It's like, they hate them to hate them. Yeah, it's when, feelings. It's all feelings. There's no rationale there. And like when, when they did the, the tax cuts last year, Apple gave all the employees $25 million in stock. But everyone that I talk to has no idea why they got that stock. And I'm like, it's because of the Trump tax cuts. No, that's not true. And then they announced that they're building a, a brand new campus in Austin, too. And again, they don't understand that that's because of the tax cuts. So how do you lean politically? I mean, what do you... Well, it's pretty moderate, but after this election, I'm pretty right. <laughs> so that's what I'm finding a lot of people, because the, the left has gone so far left, that they're ch actually chasing a lot of people away that would otherwise be with them. Uh, like, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Cortez is like, <laughs> she's like a so, gift to Trump. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, even Tucker Carlson came up with his eyes and said, maybe she's working for Trump behind the scenes. You know, they got a thing going, you know. I can see that. <laughs> Get rid of cows? What? I know, right? What do you mean? No. Turn on all the buildings and all that goes into the lake. Yeah. <laughs> it just... It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was actually a Republican strategist out here about a month ago, just after the, you know, the Congress was taken over. I said, what do you, how do you think that's going to work out? He said, it's going to help Trump. He says, they always overreach. Yeah. And they have. Apparently, you know, what he, what he said was prophetic. Because they, it seems like they just keep on getting stupider and stupider. Yeah. It's, like, like, I, I, it's, it's hard to understand anyone. It's so now. Yeah. They're just so... Crazy. Well, how do, you, how do you deal with that work with that? But you must gonna have to keep yourself pretty quiet, huh? I, I don't bring it up too much. Like, every now and then I'll say, oh my God. Like, people know that I voted for them, but it's like the unspoken. Like, we don't talk about it. I actually spoke to three people <laughs> yesterday from Silicon Valley. Did you? Uh, that work in the, the tech industry. That were Republicans. And uh, they just said they just keep their mouth shut. Yeah, because they, they freak yeah. Like, it's, it's insane. It's irrational. Yeah, I know. And, uh, and so, like, you know, it, this is probably going to surprise you, but I'm gay, too, so I'm like a gay Republican. No. And I had met someone at work who was also gay, and he was like, when I graduate college, I want to, like, fight for gay rights and blah, blah, blah. And, help them in politics, etc. And I was truly interested in him telling me more. So I like, I'll wait till the friendship builds a little more. And then when it did, and I told him who I voted for, it was like, he never spoke to me ever again. Yeah. You're not like the first gay guy I've spoken to that's you gone through the same metamorphosis. <laughs> well, the guy that started hashtag walk away, He's gay, yeah. Yes. Same thing happened, you know. So, and that's what I find. It's like now it's like the Republican Party that's more, it got the big umbrella. You know, it's accepting, accepting more than, and because and I grew up liberal. I'm, you know, Northeastern, blue collar, working class, liberal, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, but, oh, and then, you know, watching this change over the years, and now it's like everything's sort of like 180 degrees in another direction. It's the, it's the you know, it's, it's the left that's intolerant. And it's insane. Yeah. So Apple is really trying to push diversity, and they have this new, like, department called diversity and inclusiveness or something, something like that. And they sent out this survey to us so that they could help, you know, diversity. And I was like, diversity? Just, Wait, I'm like, oh, diversity. 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 I, I was hearing diversity, but it's the no, same thing. Diversity and inclusiveness. Yeah, and right. I was like, we're already diverse, so let's just stop talking about it. Thank let you. us be who we are. That's it. I mean, <laughs> just let it be. I like, you know? Maybe it's like spending time on this research. Why don't you have us go out and 
sponsor like a, an outing for us. We get to know each other or something. Yeah, like just that. yeah, just let people <laughs> associate, right? You know, and be themselves instead of trying to push an agenda or something. It's a huge push. So it's a yeah, I know. Which again, I think, is pushing people away from it. It's like you know, feeling forced into a, you know, a. a like what you have to be instead of what you want to be. And they have this view that everybody hates Trump and Republicans, but I'm like, he did win. <laughs> I, he won by being an ass out on the stage, so it must be working. Well, he had a. I mean, well, you don't understand. Most people are, are at a gut level kind of like base. And, uh, I mean, if I had a, 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 a nickel for every time I heard he's saying what I think, I'd be as oh, rich really? as Trump. Because <laughs> he hit that, you know, chord where people are, you know, when, when you, they speak at the bar or speaking together, you know, like he hit that chord. Where you know it, it wasn't, you don't have to be polite. You say exactly what's on your mind, and but people were starving for that because we were so tired of this, you know, t- touchy feely political correctness. Watch what you say, crap. And the left never get a hold of that. They keep on pushing that and pushing that and pushing that. You know, where they again they're pushing people away. Really. I like the Obamas. Half the time I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> He's just like talking in circles and like, yeah. I don't know what he's like. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I knew that I wasn't voting for Hillary at Good. all. But and I didn't know if I was gonna vote for Trump. It, what pushed me into it was when he said that he was gonna get rid of the tax if he didn't have health care. Because I thought the Obamacare was like the biggest scam ever. Yeah. So when he said that I was like, alright, I'm voting for it. And that was one of the first things he got rid of. Yeah. So I was happy about that. Yeah, I uh, I expect you to be heckled when I saw your booth over here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want. I mean, you've been here for what? Ten minutes? I guess I haven't heard anything. We can stand on each side. Most of the time, it's you know. I got a great example. There was a. There was. Hey, ladies. Oh my God. <laughs> See, do you want a photo? Yeah. Yes. Okay, ten bucks. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. I'm, 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 Whatever you want to put in, it's just <laughs> donation. What? Whatever you want to put in, oh, it's all okay. donations. It, Thanks for trying. <laughs> well, that's what they did to me last night on Burbage. Oh, of course. I know. Like, okay, okay, did you fall for no. that? No. <laughs> but if you want a photo, I'll do it. <laughs> put it in the, the bucket there, darling. And here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. Oh, she needs it worse than we do. This is good for any crime in the world. <laughs> she needs it worse than we do. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna have to send it to me. <laughs> 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 well, what are we supposed to do? Next? You're not gonna, you're not gonna put your arm around Hillary. Yeah, no, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm going to block her out. I want to be next to these picture. pretty women. Yeah, but now we can't see. Her. Wait, wait, wait. That's wait, all right. Wait, we don't wait, want wait, to wait, see wait. her. I have to take my glasses off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do I need to take mine off? Now. There we go. <laughs> All right, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh Thank my you. God. <laughs> hey, I think he just grabbed me. <laughs> That's an honor. <laughs> He's the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I will, uh, I'll look up your videos on, on YouTube. Oh, thank you. But thanks oh, for it's a service. pleasure talking to you. I'm man. Jonathan. Hi, uh, Jonathan. It's a pleasure yeah, meeting you. I'm Badass Uncle Sam. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Uncle Sam. Have a good one. Right. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed uh, Jonathan uh, as much as I did. He proven once again that, you know, they're not winning, brother. We, we, got, we got good people everywhere. Even in the bowels of uh, of Austin and Apple. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you know what you do if you like this thing. You you know, hit the like button and you hit the bell button and you head and subscribe if you have it and subscribe again if you have. And, and then uh, share. Please do share these videos and then go ahead and um, I contribute. Keep me out there. You know, get one of my designs or uh, just throw something in the kitty, you know, so you go out there and keep me in the fight. Keep
keep me on the streets. So until next time, God bless you.